All right, so this is what we'll be making today. It's a germination viewer um, pocket seed experiment, and all the instructions can be found on the Ask a Biologist website. Um, there, this is a downloadable um, packet of information. It's got photographs and background information and all the materials and also step-by-step -step instructions. So we're going to do that next. Um, this is what the finished product looks like with your sealed plastic bag and the seeds ready to germinate. And uh, next we'll go into all the materials and then the step-by-step -step procedure. So for the seed packets that we're going to make today, we need some seeds. And um, we're going to do it with peas, but you could do it with other different kinds. And sometimes making comparisons is interesting to do as well. You will need some napkins or paper towels. If they have a color to them other than white, the roots and shoots will show off better. So that might be something to look into. You will need resealable plastic bags, quart size or sandwich size work. You will need uh, some water in the container. And optionally, you may need some cardboard, some scissors, some tape to do a mounting that I'm going to show you as well. So you can mount them and then hang them up. So um, we're going to do a seed packet with some peas. And um, I'm going to show you what those look like. We don't need the radishes. The pea seeds we soaked overnight and the soaked ones look very different from the dry ones. The dry ones on the left, the soaked ones on the right. So there's dry, there's soaked and uh, it gives them a little bit of a head start and uh, they don't take as long but it's an interesting experiment to make seed packets with one seed packet with dry seeds, one seed packet with soaked seeds to see how much longer it takes for example. But uh, since I've got this one in my hand, I'm going to uh, open it up and, and show you some of the parts of the seed, some of the seed anatomy. And the first thing that I'm going to do is try to take off the seed coat that's on the outside. So just kind of cut that a little bit. Yeah, so it already split. So there's the seed coat and actually all I got here is half of the food for the seed. On the other half is the embryo. And all of, there's photographs of this on our website as well if you want to um, take a closer look at, at some of this. But there's the anatomy of the seed. You have the embryo that's going to become the plant and then food packet for the uh, seed for the embryo called the cotyledon and there's two of those in this pea seed because it's a dicot plant. So to make our seed packet you need the um, resealable plastic bag, some uh, napkins or paper towels and I'm going to use two. These really absorbent ones are helpful because you don't have to add water later in the experiment if you're going to run the experiment for a while. And put them in dry because once I get these wet they will not move around very much. And I'm going to use two so I can fill up the entire bag or most of the bag and uh, run the experiment longer as well. I can grow the seeds until they reach the top. So once your napkins are inside the bag you need to add water and uh, we've been using these film canisters. One film canister full uh, will pretty much soak the napkin. It's about 30 milliliters, but it doesn't really matter exactly the amount. You just want the napkin to be wet and there not to be too much excess water. So if, if you wet the napkins and there's excess water, you can just pour that out as well. So I'm just gonna add some water. into the packet. Oops, I spilled a little. <laughs> and then we're going to add some seeds. You want to add more than one seed. So inside each seed packet we put at least three seeds. 
Uh, it's useful because you can, you may not get germination from all of them. So if you only put one seed at side, it may not germinate, it may not grow. And also you can do things like averages and, and such once you measure what, what your seeds are doing. And you want to give them some room so each seed has its own space. And then you seal the bag. Keep the moisture inside. You'll want to label it with the kind of seeds, uh, the date, what kind of experiment you're doing. Sometimes uh, there's lots of different options if you go to the website as well. Um, you can place them in the dark. You can test the effects of gravity. One of the options for this is to actually mount it on a piece of cardboard. And we're going to use some tape to do that. And just tape the plastic bag onto the piece of cardboard. And once you've done that, you can just lean these inside a cabinet if you want to test the effects of dark, or by a window if you want to look at how they germinate in the light, or in different places. Another thing you could do is, um, and you can see the website for this, is to use a binder clip and paper clip and, and hang these. So you can also hang these. The other thing you can do is label them on the cardboard rather than on the plastic bag. But there you go, that's the seed packet germination viewer. So this is how you would do it in the classroom. If you want to um, compare it to, to um, how somebody else has done it, actually Dr. Biology has some a virtual experiment on the website um, where there's animations uh, of peas that have been grown under different conditions and the setup is exactly like this so you could compare yours to the ones that Dr. Biology has done.